So if you've got a free PBX system and you have any Yaelink phones, you know that changing the ringtone to a custom ringtone can be difficult. It's not that it's really hard to do, it's that it's hard to figure out how to do. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. Hear how it is a different ringtone than the phone over here? Of course you don't. Let me show you what the phone sounds like. Okay, that's the standard ringtone. And that's what you would get with uh, any other extension calling it, including this door phone, if I hadn't changed the custom ringtone. So let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is to locate your file. I searched for a doorbell on the internet and I found a file that I think is going to work pretty well. And so I'll leave it up to you where you find that file or if you make your own. It needs to be a mono file and it needs to have some modifications to it so that the Yaelink can interpret it. So here's my file. That's what it will sound like when I'm done and I need to change the project rate to 8,000 and then I'm ready to export it. I'm going to export it as a WAV file. I'm going to use the file type of Microsoft WAV and I'm going to change my encoding to U-Law. And I'll give it another name here. Let's see. Door Let's do front door. And I'll save that. It goes to my downloads folder. That's fine. Okay, now I've got my file. I need to put it onto my Yaelink. Let me get logged in here. And go to custom ringtone. Now this is under settings preference. And that's what I was doing before, so I'll just delete that one. And now I'm going to upload a ringtone. Here's my front door that I had created and saved. And I'll confirm that. The last step is to go to Free PBX and go to uh, wherever you're changing your alert tone. In my case, I'm going to use a ring group because that's an easy way to do it, even though I just have one member in that one extension. And so I'm going to change that from the default here to custom. Now the trick here is to put the word ring tone and a dash before the name of your file. And we call that front door dot wave. So let's save that or submit that and apply it. As soon as that done, that's done, we'll be able to test it. Okay, let's give it a try. So apparently, I used uppercase letters in the name of it, just like that. So I'm going to try that again. Ringtone dash front door dot wave. Submit that and apply it. Okay, let's give it a try. And there it is. There's the custom ringtone. Sounds more like a doorbell. Much easier to recognize. We'll go ahead and answer that. And let's see. I do want to let them in. So I'll push the open door button and they can walk on in. So that's it. That's how you set a custom ringtone on a Yaelink phone with free PBX. If you like this video, then please give me one of these. It really helps. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe and maybe even hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. If you're interested in a free PBX system for your school, church, or business, then use the link in the description to go to our website and fill out an interest form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.